New at 6 tonight, a Columbus bar owner is beefing up security after people who live nearby push to get the business shut down. We're talking about Jack's Corner Pub. The neighbors are concerned about violence near this business. 10 TV's Ashley Bornanson talked with the owner today. Ashley? Yolanda, the owner of Jack's Corner Pub, tells me he hears neighborhood complaints loud and clear. And he, too, does not want anyone to get hurt from criminal activity he says is happening after hours. Now, the, the owner also says he has made many security updates to the facility to hopefully prevent and catch any potential perpetrators. Neighbors, though, tell me this might not be enough. It's only a matter of time before someone a bullet goes into someone's house, um, and that's just totally unacceptable. Brady Schofler has called the south of Hudson neighborhood his home for the last six years, but that's soon about to change. It could be like a Tuesday, a Wednesday, waking up to anywhere from 10 to 30 shots, um, you know, right in front of your house. Schofler says he's now moving out of the community due to continued shootings and criminal activity. Activity, he says, stems from Jack's Corner Pub. You know, the regulars are nice. I mean, that's great. I, I have no problem with that, but you have to do something to crack down on, you know, the violence. Roy Balls, the owner of Jack's Corner Pub, says he also wants the violence to stop. He's taking action on his end. There's one in the corner here facing down the road, one facing down the other side of the street. There's one facing here in the front. Wall says he's installed eight security cameras outside the bar. Five more cameras are added inside. The bartender can actually see what's going on on the whole property, and the patrons can see what's going on outside, around the street, across the street. Walls is also now closing the bar at 1 a.m. during the week to hopefully stop the late night gatherings. So we don't want to close down, and we don't want to be a nuisance to the neighborhood either. Last week, the city's attorney's office told us it is aware of the complaints. Today, it says public safety is a top priority and that, quote, proactive measures like installing security cameras or adjusting operating hours are welcome first steps to ensure the safety of patrons and area residents alike. Well, it's very important. You want to keep everyone safe. You don't want no one hurt. You want everyone to go home and the way they stop by. Schofler says he hopes the new security cameras at the bar help, but he is skeptical. They close at one. I mean, is all this just going to happen at one instead of two? I don't know. Um, I'd like to think it would help. There were cameras and they could get license plates or whoever did it. I mean, yeah, that'd be helpful. Schofler tells me he would like to see a security guard outside the premise as well. I did ask the bar's owner about that possibility. He tells me he's willing to add security guards if need be. He simply wants to do whatever it takes to keep the bar open and everyone safe.